Welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today I'm going to show you how I painted this carousel horse. So stay tuned. So on this on this rock I went and traced the design. I'm going to try to do a tutorial on Tuesday for my Pro Tip Tuesday. Uh, where I show you how I actually transferred this over to the rock. This is a painting I did on a canvas, on a 16 by 20 canvas, several years ago. Um, and I decided that I wanted to see if I could do it on a rock. I switched it up a little bit. I'll post a picture of what it actually looked like, the original. There it is. So this horse is going to be a different color. I, uh change the position of the head a little bit um, but this was taken off of a photo that I found on Pixabay and I'm just changing up the face shape a little bit these are just some artistic licensing I'm taking to kind of make the face look a little cuter I think so I'm using Liquitex Basics which is what I normally use for my paints um, and I'm going to go ahead and paint the whole body, uh, not the mane, but the body, kind of a, a blue. Uh, I'm just going to paint the whole thing just a blue, and then I'll go in and start shadowing. And I'm going to, I'm painting in the, the uh, bridle so that I don't lose it as I paint in the rest of it. You know, I like to paint in layers. Uh, that's what gives you a lot of depth in your painting. But you've got to get a base painting in there first. Oh, I guess I'm just going to do the main. <laughs> I thought I had gone in and done the whole body first. I guess I'm just doing the whole thing in green, or green, in blue, like a light blue. I'm leaving gaps where the the mane and the flowers and everything are going to be. When I do my sh my shading. You know, I always thin it down to where it's more like an ink consistency. If you have anything you would like to see me paint and do a tutorial on, leave a comment down in the comment section of this video, or you can join me over on Facebook. I have a private group for my subscribers and my followers on Facebook, uh, where you can submit a request there. It's called Rockin' It with April May, and the link to that page is in the description of the video. But it's a place where you can go and ask questions, show your artwork, and request uh, tutorials. I'm stumbling on my words today. I'm just kind of outlining where the mane is going to go. This is going to help with the shadowing later on. 
and paint in the flowers. And you know, you once you learn how to paint these things, you can paint them on anything. Decorative boxes, wood panels, you could even blow it up and start painting on big canvases. Just because we're painting on rocks doesn't mean that you have to do it on a rock. You could do this technique on anything. Now I'm kind of shading in the main, the parts of the main. And you know, if you get, if I get too much paint on there, I always dab it with my finger. It really helps in kind of softening the color up a little bit. And I am using, let's see, which paintbrush was that? If I can find it. It is called a uh, Holo Tap. It's a triple ot, which means it's three zeros and it's a hollow tap. I got these off of Amazon and they're just detailed brushes. Now I'm just kind of putting in my base coats for my flowers. Drawing in some leaves. If you would like to paint this and you would like the, like a traceable of it, let me know in the comment section. I can probably take a picture of the traceable that I did. Um, and then you could use it for your own rocks. Or you could find a photo on Pixabay is, is a free uh, reference photo site. And you could find, they have a bunch of different carousel horses you could use uh, as a reference photo. Like I said, Tuesday um, is when I try to post my my tip videos. So this Tuesday, I'm hoping to have a video, which will be tomorrow for this video, because this video is going to come out on Monday when I do my animals. Uh, so Tuesday will be the tip video, and I'm going to try to show how I went about uh, transferring, using tracing paper and transfer paper to create this. It won't, I don't think it'll be this particular. It might be a tractor, I think is what I used when I did that, the tractor video, which will be coming out later this week, I believe. I mean, later this week or next week. So now I'm kind of shadowing in uh, with dark one thing when you're painting, don't don't be afraid to go dark where you need dark. Uh, a lot of times when paintings look flat, when they appear flat to you, um, it's because you haven't gone dark enough or light enough. And if you just really hit those shadows with some dark color, it's really going to make the painting pop. You'll, you'll get the contrast you need to give that painting depth. So now I'm just doing, I'm using just straight titanium white uh, for the uh, highlights, the light shine, you know, because these are kind of enamel painted. So there's a lot of reflective light shining off of 
uh, the, the horse. Now I'm signing it like I do all of my rocks. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.